Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Adol here again. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. It's always good to have you. So, today we're going to look at, uh, one of, uh, sorry for the videos from, I believe, yesterday. Um, where he is trying to prove Kate Peters illegally entrapped him. Because, you know, he's still obsessed with that because he doesn't know what the fucking entrapment is, but, yeah watched about a minute into it so it's like the volume and stuff and how loud I need to make things and whatnot but yeah okay let's watch what up y'all you already know what it is I'm What's up, here today to expose Kate Peters yep. for the piece of shit that she is and show you guys once and for all the Cyrax, why are, why are you dealing with this loud to expose people? You don't, you don't like it when anybody else tries to expose you. I mean, what the hell? That what she did to me can land her in fucking prison. And that she's doing all this for the fucking views. Not because she wanted to do what was right, but because... Cyrax, you're an idiot. She wanted the views. Because she saw me as an easy fucking target. So what? So, let's get into this shit. Because I'm tired of this bitch getting away with this. Let's I'm do I'm tired this. of you getting away with your shit. Starting off. We're going to play back a little bit of this video where she openly incriminates herself. And basically says that Marty hiring her is a... Sorry, do you even know what it means to incriminate yourself? Because you do it all the damn time. Good thing. Which wasn't. Sorry, this is in the past. You gotta let it go. It's the past. It's the past. He's let it go. This is old. That was it. Oh. He's being a smart ass. Oh. But they like, actually, they might not be showing it, Kate, but they actually are scared. They might not show yeah. it, but they actually are. Well, like, see, what I don't understand is this, Kate. Like, I understand that what I did was fucked up, and it never should have happened. But what I want to know is why is it, and don't, don't sit there saying oh, it. Like... Because I saw the video that Classic Games Canada put out. Why the fuck would you have Marty Stewart come to my house? Well, I mean, I, I, first of all, I didn't really specify what was supposed to happen with the goons. Sarah, do so you remember the time that, um, you tried to hire, quote unquote, goons to kill, um, her and her family? Do you remember this? Do you? Do you remember this at all? No? Are you too fucking dumb? Or you just really choose to uh, ignore it? Because, oh, if you delete, it never happened, right? <laughs> Strike number one. You did specify what they wanted. We all saw the fucking video, bitch, so fuck you. Cyrus, fuck you too, Cyrus. No, I am not. And even if I did, that's none of your business, you dumb. So why is everything she does your business? You dumb bitch. Bitch. Do I? <laughs> have, have you ever hired a good before? What'd you say? But honestly, after this, after this shit, I'm seriously thinking about starting, especially after my family being put in fucking danger. Oh. You can clearly tell by the look on her face that she's just doing this shit for the fucking views. I mean, Cyrax, you're fucking pathetic. Jesus Christ, you have my fucking rashes of veterans. Oh. 
Look at this fucking dance. Look on this bitch's face. I mean. Look at that ass look on this bitch's face right here. I mean. Look at it. Kind of pathetic. In fact, actually, I think I'll make a decent, uh. Thumbnail. To be fair. Yeah, that'll be the thumbnail. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Continue. You can clearly see that she's not all there. <laughs> You're one to her saying that goon options... Like, hiring goons is a good option? No, it ain't, bitch. And look at fat-ass Marty over here fucking laughing, dude. Like, what it's the okay fuck? It's okay for you to do it. Now, if y'all don't know what really went down, Kane Peters, a.k.a. Natural Mafia, was hired, was hired by Marty to illegally entrap me. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are saying that, entrapping, oh, you dumbass. entrapment isn't illegal. Ah, but it is. Cyrax, she can't fucking entrap you, dumbass. She's not a fucking law officer. the hell is your issue? God, you're stupid as fuck. And here are the reasons why. That the way she went about it is, in fact, illegal. Because, one... I don't have a history of it, of You're everything that went down. I never once did anything like that shit at all, despite what everybody on YouTube says, despite what all the fans. Thorax, you're constantly fucking sending your dick pics to children. You're fucking asking children to watch you while you jack off. What the fuck? And plus, you tried to hire a fucking. Hire a hit on fucking on Kate and her kids because they're bullying you and they're taking your life away. And no, oh, <laughs> Cyrax, just fuck off, seriously. You're not even entertaining to me anymore. You're just a fucking piece of shit. I mean, you've always been a piece of shit, but now you're just not entertaining to me anymore. I guess fucking people want to say. Like, hello, wake up, never happened. Right. Now, let's go over here to... The reasons why it's illegal. A trauma generally involves inducing someone into committing crime they would have... They wouldn't have committed otherwise. However, when a private citizen without involvement of law enforcement tries to entrap another person, it might not be illegal in the same way it would if it were to be done by law enforcement. Valid point. In legal concept, in legal context, entrapment is typically associated with law enforcement and or government officials. Inducing someone to commit a crime they would otherwise wouldn't have committed it's often seen as an abuse of power. Also, fair point. In some jurisdictions, it might result in the dismissal charges of uh, charges against the individual who is entrapped. When when conducted by a private citizen, while it might not be illegal in the same sense as legal entrapment, it could still raise ethical or moral concerns. It could still lead to civil issues or legal disputes, especially if the action leads to harm. Coercion or deceit. Laws and regulations may vary by, juris by jurisdiction, and civil suits could potentially be filed. Yeah, overall, the legality of actions taken by private citizens to induce others into criminal behavior can be complex and context-dependent. 
Don't say anywhere that's fucking illegal, Cyrax. For actions taken that infringe on an individual's rights to cause rights or cause harm. Overall, the legality of actions taken by private citizens to induce others. Now, and trying whether conducted by a private citizen or law enforcement typically involves inducing someone to commit crimes they wouldn't. You already know about that shit. Here are some key points to consider. Probable cause. I don't know, I feel like listening to Cyrus read. Probable cause. The lack of probable cause is a significant factor determining the legality of entrapment. If a private citizen induces someone to commit crime without a prior indication or reason to suspect illegal activity, it can raise ethical and legal questions, but it's not illegal. Intent and motive. The intent and motive behind the, in, uh, the inducement are crucial. If the inducement, inducement is done with the intention of trapping someone into illegal activity, it may be viewed as unethical or even illegal, but it's not illegal. It would be viewed that way, but whatever. Harm or concern. Harm or coercion. The inducement leads to harm, coercion, or significant negative consequences for the individual being induced. It could potentially result in legal consequences such as civil disputes or criminal charges. Mm -hmm. Jurisdiction laws surrounding entrapment can be can vary by jurisdiction. Yada, yada, yada. Civil lawsuits. Even if criminal charges are not filed, the individual who ha was induced may Maybe you pursue, pursue legal. God damn it! Maybe pursue legal, legal, uh, civil lawsuits against person responsible for inducement. Okay. The lack of probable cause is a significant case of trapping someone into illegal activity and or coercive negative consequences for the individual being induced. A cause surrounding a trapping may vary by jurisdiction, which means state to state. Even if criminal charges are not filed, the individual who essentially to remember that the legality and consequences of inducing someone into illegal activity can be complex and, and contact God. The inducement involves deceit or misleading someone into committing a crime. Charges related to fraud might be applicable. Harassment. If the actions involved in coercion, harassment, or manipulation to get someone to commit a crime, Charges Cyrax, no one coerced you into anything. No one harassed you or manipulated you to anything. Jesus fucking Christ. You sign your dick pic to fucking kids because they say, oh, they're still a virgin or oh, they're fucking, they're underage and shit. Because so you feel like, oh, well, okay, okay. Say they pretended to be someone of age, then they said they were younger, and then they said they were older, and then they said they were younger. Sorry, actually, you're a fucking idiot. We've all seen the fucking screenshots. There's no in, there's no coercion, or harassment, or manipulation. Okay, you're a fucking idiot. Related to these behaviors could be pursued. Specific crime charges. The induced crime itself may lead to charges. But the defense might argue that the person wouldn't have committed the crime without inducement. Oh no, you would have. You would have. In cases where entrapment occurs involving law enforcement, if proven in court, it may result in the dismissal of charges against the person who was induced or manipulated into committing a crime. So, point being a bit there. However, the consequences can be context specific and can vary sig significantly based on the local laws and the severity of the situation. Consulting legal professional knowledgeable about the laws is relevant. If the relevant jurisdiction would be in the relevant jurisdiction would be the most appropriate the course of action in such circumstances. Sorry, you haven't fucking you haven't um you haven't looked. You haven't asked any lawyers, have you? No way, that's right, because you can't fucking afford it. But shit, dude. Nothing she did was illegal. Plenty of stuff you did is fucking illegal. You being in fucking Ohio is saving your fucking ass.
So, point being, Kate did what she did for the fucking views. She openly admitted it on her fucking channel. When she called me, she openly admitted that she did it because mm -hmm. of the fact... The fact you're a fucking idiot. Okay. You weren't entrapped. Okay. You fucking... You fell for the fucking bait. You took the bait. Okay, jackass. You're a fucking... You're a fucking predator. You're a pedophile. Just get over the fucking fact. Everyone fucking knows it. Fucking, you can't fucking change it. Uh, don't look. Well, I'm gonna leave it there because Cyrus is really pissing me off now. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please consider sharing and subscribing. That really helps the channel. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.